bruh. Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Little Latina, coming at you with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you five simple, easy, and very effective tips that are going to help you to intermittent fast for a longer period of time and how to intermittent fast more consistently and just a whole lot easier. So if you wanna know how to intermittent fast for long periods of time, or if you're just beginning intermittent fasting and you wanna be able to fast effectively and not be in a lot of discomfort, and this video is going to be very helpful for you. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right on to it. Alright, so the first thing I would recommend you try out when intermittent fasting is to drink a lot of liquids while you're fasting. Obviously liquids with zero calories, so black coffee, lemon water, green tea, things of that sort is going to be great for you because it will allow you to feel more full. It's going to take up a little bit of space in your stomach. Plus, I find personally that the whole actual interaction of taking a drink and like drinking it and having it go into your stomach kind of gives the illusion that food is going in there. This is especially effective when you're first starting fasting. So if you're not used to fasting for an extended period of time and you really feel the need to eat something, personally for me, drinking stuff is very effective and especially if you drink something with a flavor to it, like lemon water or green tea, that helps the most because you kind of get that taste in your mouth and that really adds to the whole experience of eating in a way since when you're first starting or if you haven't fasted ever before for more than your sleeping window, then this is going to be really helpful to kind of push you towards that and just consistently fast and just kind of get over that initial first few days of strong hunger, then this is going to be very effective and super simple to do. Now, if you're more advanced or you're more used to it, um, you can just drink something as simple as water. That would be great as well. I personally like lemon water. It just adds the flavor. You can go ahead and suck on some lemon. I do that as well. But it's just a nice way to still have flavor but not be intaking any calories. Plus, lemon water is very healthy for you. So it's a win-win all around and it's just going to help you to fast longer which that has quite a bit of health benefits that you're probably going to enjoy in the long run. Now the second thing you can do to help you fast longer is to sleep or take naps. Now this one is quite obvious, especially when you first start fasting and you quit eating maybe at like 5, 6, 7 and you don't go to bed until around 9 or 10, just sleeping is going to be very effective in cutting off how much time you're actually awake and feeling hungry during your fasting window. So you can just take naps during the day if you're fasting in between there or during the nighttime you can go to bed earlier which is going to be allowing you to sleep longer, get more sleep so it can be a lot healthier for you so if you feel very hungry then this could be a very nice and energizing way for you to fast longer and not necessarily feel the need to eat plus you're going to be sleeping anyway so you're not going to have the ability to eat any food as long as you're just napping completely or sleeping throughout the night so this is a quick and simple way that's going to allow you to fast for longer the next thing you can do to help you fast for a longer period of time is to eat a huge meal before your fasting window is over. So for example, if you start fasting at 7 p.m. at around 6 to 6.30, have a pretty large, decent, filling meal that isn't something made out of empty calories, so like no cakes or ice creams or stuff like that, but something really filling like quinoa, lentils, a potato, some salmon, that's really gonna fill you up for a very long time and you're not gonna be feeling hunger until way later in the night since you just had that huge meal before you finish your fasting. So that was very effective for me personally and when I first started fasting to stay consistent with that fasting because I became hungry a lot later than I was previously when I was not eating like such large meals before my fasting window. Or you can have three big meals throughout the entire day because those three very filling, very healthy meals will take a lot to digest and you're definitely going to want to be fasting because by the end of the night, you're still probably going to be pretty full from all of those meals. So you're really not going to be nearly as inclined to want to eat again. Plus, eating big, healthy meals is going to provide you a lot of energy and a lot of nutrients. So it's ultimately just a very good choice to make even if you're not fasting. Now, the fourth thing you can do is do yoga. I would recommend yoga more than exercising or Pilates because yoga doesn't necessarily take as much physical strain because I know after I work out, I get really hungry and really thirsty. I don't want to fast after I work out. It allows you to take your mind off your hunger. It helps you to stretch your body, become more flexible, become more aligned. Yoga is actually very healthy for your brain, very good for your body. And I find that kind of taking your mind off of the food and doing something that requires 
requires a slight bit of physical exercise, but not necessarily to the point where it's like you want food. I find that yoga is a very good stimulant to help take your mind off of your hunger. And if you do it at nighttime, you can use it at bedtime yoga, which will make you more tired and you can sleep faster and quicker. And then you can finish your fasting window a lot faster. Plus you're not gonna be inclined to eat food because you're literally going to be sleeping. And so I find yoga to be quite enjoyable as well if I'm struggling with my fasting period. Now this isn't going to be the case for everyone and probably isn't everyone's cup of tea but for me personally and I know a few other people will probably enjoy it as well yoga is going to be quite effective in keeping you from eating food and wanting to eat food and now the fifth and final thing you can do to consistently fast is to have mental stimulation. So similar to yoga, you need to keep your mind on something else rather than how hungry you are. Because I find personally that once I start focusing on how hungry I am, I can really feel the hunger and that's all I focus on. And then I start to get hangry and then I really want to eat and then I get annoyed and then I'm like, screw it, I need to eat food because I'm in a bad mood and I'll be in an even worse mood if I don't eat something. So I would definitely recommend some type of mental stimulation, so playing with your pets, indulging in a hobby, showering, reading a book, learning something, all of that's going to be helpful in taking your mind off of how hungry you are and making you feel less worried about your fasting and kind of take your mind off the time so you're not going to be worried about, oh, how long am I going to be fasting for? Is it almost over yet? So you can just kind of indulge in that and then just take your mind off of the whole like hungriness, especially in the first few days, first few weeks of fasting, especially if you've never fasted before, that's definitely going to help. Now, with that being said, that is the end of today's video. Five simple things you can implement into your life to become more consistent with fasting and how to make fasting a whole lot easier. So if you found value from this video or any type of useful information, don't be shy to go ahead and leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it and it would help boost this video the algorithm so others will have the opportunity to see this video and to possibly learn something new. But until next time, mwah, have a beautiful day.